Check out the black raspberries. They're all ripe, or at least they're getting close. This used to be just grass, this whole area. Now it's a giant mulberry and a circle of black raspberries. And we're just getting pounds and pounds of fruit out of it. Isn't that cool? You know they're ripe if you can just feel it and they just pop right off. Mmm, they're really good. And we're using the pruning technique that um, Permaculture Orchard said to do, which is you take the canes and each clump you select like three and then you bend the other ones over. Or you, you select the three that you want, you bend them over um, pretty much right after fruit harvest. And those will be your fruiting canes for next year. And then all the little ones, like, uh, like say this one, you would just cut down. So, <laughs> pretty cool. Went from a uh, non-productive space to pounds and pounds of fruit in only a couple years. Raspberries are quick. And uh, things like the, the mulberry tree take longer. So that's what we do in permaculture. We kind of stack things in uh, both time and space. So we, we got the space here and we have time, which was these things are first, this thing is next. And then as the mulberry ramps up, it's probably gonna start shading out the, the black raspberries and then these will decline and that will increase, etc. So we're designing our little forest here in a way that helps everybody out. Birds love it, we love it. It's some work to maintain, but you're getting back lots of lots of food. You know? People complain a lot about, oh, I don't want to put in a fruit tree because it's gonna be a lot of maintenance and I'm gonna to have to do stuff. Well, that's true. But you also have to work to make money to feed yourself. So this is you're working for yourself and your yields increase. These canes are getting really big. I don't remember them last year being this thick. I think they were more like this. So these things are still rampant. They're getting big. So I expect that the harvest next year might even be bigger than this. And I, I think I waited, I'll have to look it up. I'll probably put it in the little notes here. I don't remember what it was last year. I'll look it up. I'll put it in the notes. It was probably like, I don't know, let's say 10 pounds. And then I'll put a little note right here about it. But uh, I don't think we've kind of reached the max potential here, considering that the plants are getting bigger and bigger. And each time the canes thicken like this, they seem to put off more side shoots and they can handle more fruit. So, I'm gonna get back to picking instead of just eating them. <laughs> and we're gonna freeze these for the winter or later in the summer and for whatever, throw them on ice cream. All right, catch you later. All right, one other thing before I go, this is what 10 minutes of picking looks like. And I wanna thank Sean at Edible Acres for giving me this idea of a free little picking uh, container. You just put a string through a, a juice container and hang it around your neck. And then you can walk around and pick with with both uh, hands free. So pretty useful. And uh, yeah, these are delicious. <laughs>